Hello all folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of all news and analysis. But before we start and move to any further details, I'd like to make sure you guys hit subscribe button and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, Joe Biden administration has been accused of stonewalling a legal bid to uncover details of Prince Harry's US visa application using freedom of information laws. A request to have this application fast-tracked on the grounds of exceptional public interest has been turned down, which has been described as outrageous as a decision by a Washington-based think tank pursuing the case. The right-wing Heritage Foundation has now asked the judge to overturn the decision by the Department of Homeland Security and two of its agencies, with a hearing expecting next month. The Heritage Foundation demanded the immediate release of the Duke of Sussex's visa records in March after he admitted to drug-taking in his memoir Spare. It argued that the Duke's records should be made public because admissions of drug use are grounds for admissibility in visa applications. Prince Harry has admitted to taking drugs including cocaine, cannabis and magic mushrooms. Sources close to the Duke have insisted he was truthful about his drug use on his application, which raises questions about whether the Duke was given special treatment. The foundation argues it has asked whether he was granted a waiver by border officials. Under US freedom of information laws, applications can be fast-tracked if there is widespread and exceptional media interest in which there exist possible questions about the government's integrity, which affect public confidence. The Heritage Foundation argued that the Prince Harry case had cleared the bar, but the fast-track application has been turned down on the grounds that British-based publications, including The Telegraph, which had demanded answers over the visa application, were not sufficiently mainstream in the US to count. Now, Gardner, director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation, said, the Biden administration is clearly stonewalling here and are trying to avoid releasing any documents. They are trying to buy some time and do so by undermining the credibility of the British press, which is outrageous, and by concentrating their fire on British press, even though we have submitted articles in the US about the same subject. The Heritage Foundation has submitted freedom of information requests for the Duke's application records to the Department of Homeland Security, the US Citizenship and Immigration Services and US Customs, and Border Patrol. In its written opposition to the fast-track request, the Department of Homeland Security described the Telegraph and other British publications as niche and also said it was not persuaded that there were exceptional circumstances that made the urgent response necessary. The think tank will now apply for a hearing in front of a judge at the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia, at which it will ask the judge to overrule the three agencies. If it fails, it could take months or even longer for them to make the decisions on whether to release the Duke's Versa records. Samuel Dewey, the attorney representing the foundation, said, The way it works here is that if you're asking for anything that's potentially significant, you're not going to get it unless you sue them. You can have a request that sits there for a year and pretty much nothing happening. This is an example of administration's unprecedented lack of transparency. Prince Harry moved to California in 2020 with his wife Meghan Markle. People who emigrate to the US are usually given a three-year visa, meaning he will need to renew the visa this year or apply for a green card. A new application is likely to lead to further scrutiny for Prince Harry's visa status. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more raw news and analysis. Bye for now.